Hello guys and welcome to my channel, or should I say hola y bienvenidos a mi canal. En este video les voy a enseñar el mejor método para aprender un idioma. Yo sé que este proceso puede ser muy difícil, entonces les quiero dar mis propios consejos, los cuales se pueden utilizar para aprender cualquier idioma muy fácil y rápido. Sound good? Pues vamos a darle. By using strategic methods and techniques, I was able to become conversationally fluent in Spanish in about two, maybe three weeks of learning. Stop the cap! <laughs> Okay, maybe I am leaving out a big detail. I did take three years of Spanish classes in high school, but I promise y'all, I learned nothing there. I love three years of high school Spanish sounding like this. Hola, como son? Me llamo es Carter. ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? Now, the purpose of this video isn't for me to talk about my journey learning Spanish. That's all content for another video. But what I do want to do is share with y'all the methods that I use to go from high school level language learning to actual language learning. Learning a language from scratch is a very difficult process. You're gonna have to start with the basics. This includes the alphabet, writing systems, which fortunately enough for me, the Spanish writing system is very similar to English. I think there's only like three or four differences between the two. You're also gonna need to learn basic pronunciations. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, you're gonna need to know if your language is phonetic and the way that it is written. Now, for example, Spanish is a phonetic language. Once you learn the pronunciation rules, you can write every single word of the language. Whereas English, which is not a phonetic language, that would go very poorly. If you try to use the spellings to determine the pronunciation of English words, you would go around saying completely nonsensical things such as pterodactyl, knife, caramel. The dress is actually white and gold. So as you can see, you're gonna have to do a bunch of research first before you can even jump in and learn your very first word. So once you've covered the absolute basics of the language, now you need to learn words. Yeah, you need to learn words. Vocabulary is extremely important in the early processes of language learning. Now, I know there are a lot of people who would disagree with me on this, but that's okay because I have my reasons. Some things you just cannot communicate unless if you know how to say them. Now, I know that sounds very Captain Obvious, but it's true. You can only play charade so much at the beginning of trying to communicate with someone who does not speak your native language. So for example, if I wanted to say that I'd prefer that this light be colored blue instead of being colored yellow, that's a very difficult thing to express without knowing the words. But even without understanding the language fully, you could probably communicate that idea with just a very basic amount of vocabulary. For example, I could say like, Yo preferir lámpara luz color eh, azul no amarillo sino azul. Now that's terrible Spanish, but at least it's able to get the point across. Now that's kind of amazing that you're able to do that considering I didn't even worry about articles in that sentence. I didn't care about masculine feminine. I didn't care about conjugations, verb tenses, you know, none of that. Nothing that makes up the actual sentence structure or dialogue in the language was even used to express that idea, but I was able to do that through words. So let me tell you, at the beginning of learning a language, the important thing is to make a ton of vocabulary lists and learn the words. Now there are a ton of different modalities you can use to study vocabulary. This could include language learning apps such as Duolingo, but my personal favorite is a website that is sort of like a flashcard system named Quizlet. Now you've probably already heard of Quizlet, but Quizlet is fantastic for learning vocabulary in your target language. You can search for pre-made vocabulary lists in your language, or you can just make your own list and study those. And then once you've learned those lists, go back over them several times over the next few weeks so you really drill them into your memory. This is a great way to learn words once and not even have to worry about it again in the future. You will always have them there for passive reference. So now that you have a very strong foundation in the basics and a functional vocabulary, it's important to get a ton of input. You need to hear this language constantly. Now I'm talking change the language in your phone, change the language in any video games, any computer programs, however you can to see and hear this language as much as possible. Start watching shows in this language, and it's okay if you use subtitles, do what you have to do, but make sure you are hearing this language. Hearing the language constantly now that you have some basis of vocabulary will help form new neural connections that you can use later when you try to speak the language by yourself. Now, there aren't really any specific resources I can give you for this. You can find ways to incorporate this language in your life everywhere. You just have to focus on it. So my next piece of advice is get some help. Stop it. Get some help. I don't care if this is Duolingo, Rosetta Stone, taking a class at a community college, 
or like what I did, I had online tutors who would help me with my Spanish. You just need to be taught the material in some way. There are just some intricacies in language learning that cannot be taught if you're not a very young child or completely surrounded by this language 24 seven. So like I said, I had an online tutor with whom I met once, maybe twice a week in the beginning, every week when we worked on a different grammatical concept each class. This helped me form my knowledge of different tenses, different verb conjugations, different rules, and just all the little things you never really think about while learning a language. So I highly recommend getting some help from a native speaker, preferably a teacher who can help take your language learning to the next level. So the final stage in learning a language is just practicing it. Now I mean speaking, writing, texting, thinking in the language, whatever you have to do to actively incorporate this language into your everyday life. Now for this, I've used language exchange applications such as HelloTalk, or I've gone to Spanish English exchange meetups, and now what I've noticed across all these platforms is I've met some incredible people. You will meet so many cool people from around the world, I know I have, and this is really where you get to start enjoying the fruits of your labor. You are able to start communicating in this language with people and you are only going to get better. So that's all the advice I have for you guys in this video. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to go more in depth with my journey of learning Spanish and exactly what I did step by step. I'd be happy to share that with y'all. But yeah, I hope all of y'all achieve your New Year's resolutions. I hope that 2021 is the year that you learn a language because you will not regret it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.